Alright, so a quick video taking a look at a mask and or tissue holder. So take a look at a couple images, one of which shows you how to load this. Then we'll look at how to load this and see how well it works. Okay, so as stated, we're taking a look at this mask and or tissue holder. So you could use some tissues, um, you know, Kleenex type tissues, and they do supply some with it, so you could utilize this. But in the current state of the world, as of right now, you may find it very useful to have a bunch of masks on hand. And this is suitable for anywhere from 1 to 20 masks, according to the documentation. I'd say probably about a week's worth is just ideal because it just makes it easy and it has a velcro closure and it has these really strong clips. They're not so strong that they're going to damage the actual sun visor when you install it in the car, but they're strong enough they should hold it fairly well and you do have this velcro tab for closure. And this is the opening here, which is pretty good as far as the size, so it shouldn't be a major issue. So if we lay this down here for just a moment, we basically just want to take a little stack of our mask, um, disposable type masks, and the blue is generally the, the hydrophobic uh, side, which is the outside, so that it repels uh, fluids and things of that nature. So you can lay this on your counter, grab your loops, and kind of lay those on the top. sort of like that. Open this up and of course this is going to be the side that faces so what we want to do then is have the blue facing outward and just place these right inside and I suggest you kind of put your hands in and do like a sweeping motion slightly just to kind of get the strings over to the sides a little bit and then close it down I found you can close it down and then just lift up on those little pieces because they do lay on top which helps to hold this thing shut when it's actually installed in the car and afterward you may find the mask little strings they kind of stick out a little bit so you can kind of tuck those away so that it looks like this and the little pleats in the mask are going to be kind of where you grab and you may have to sort of play with it a little bit and get used to it. The tighter you pack it in, so if you do 20 or, or more, which again it is listed to do 1 to 20, it's going to be more difficult to get the mask out. So if you keep it close to uh, maybe 7 to 10 or so, it will make it a little bit easier because it's not as uh, firmly packed in there, it's not as tight. But you can grab this pleat and you can kind of just work the mask right out and there you go you're ready to go again it will pull the strings out a little bit sometimes you can kind of tuck those in you can leave them sticking out it really doesn't matter so long as you grab the pleated area and you're very uh, methodical or gentle in the way you retrieve the mask from the actual holder don't just grab and yank because you may be grabbing potentially more than one mask at a time not really a big deal, but it is simple to use, it is simple to load, and it is definitely very functional. So, anyway, uh, there's some images that preceded the video. Uh, as mentioned previously, they will show you the four-step process in installing or uh, putting the mask into the actual holder. But other than that, we'll take a real quick look at it in the car. If you want to find out more and see more details, read anything about it, you can do so on the link provided below the video. That's it. Thanks for watching.
All right, so a quick look for insulation in the actual vehicle. Obviously not gonna be very difficult. You just slide it into place. And that's it. So reach up, grab the mask that you need, pull it out. Very simple operation. Looks good in the car and these things, like I said, they're strong enough to hold it in place, but they shouldn't really cause any kind of damage because they're not going to uh, crush the actual uh, visor itself. So, that's it. Thanks.